Hello. I'm back. And my clone is gonna do some wacky wacky things. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man, it's it's a wacky wacky world. So Okay. <laughs> um whoop whoop. So this one I didn't do right early when I first played this. But this shouldn't be too difficult. I just gotta do that. Cause I remember what I needed to do, it just I never really successfully did it. I was dumb about it. There we go. <laughs> That's what I do. That was a lot easier. Like originally I got like all flimped up about it and then I thought just got came here, thought about it for a little bit. And then I was like, wow, this isn't as bad as I originally thought. Uh I does it look like I have stuff to grab here? I can't tell. Oh, this one. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So after fooling around for a while, I actually discovered that you can, um, do this. You can knock up the enemies by jumping underneath them. Which is fascinating. Like, I didn't realize you could do that. And I guess you can. Like, I was just. I died once and it got knocked up. Some crazy gimmicks in this world, I. in this world, seriously. And that made a weird noise. Okay, um. I have to figure out this one, which I think I figured out before. Like, I got close to figuring it out, or I was like, okay, basically I gotta, uh, kill the bottom key with a shadow. I gotta go like this, and then I gotta go down, and down, and down, grab it, then I rewind, and that gets opened, and then I don't remember what to do after this. I think I'm supposed to bring the Goomba guy over. Like, I don't know. Okay, so I have a theory. I have a theory that let's let's see if this theory works. Let's see if this theory works. Let's see if this theory works. I think I rerouted too long, but we'll find out. should be it. Unless if there's something I did wrong. Whoa there. Oh, that's it. For that level. Okay. Um... I think the next room is the boss room, which I don't have the key for. There's a piece for... So I'm gonna quickly do that. So for here, um, I accidentally f figured this out. I can redo it though. Oh, um. So basically, what happens is, stand here. You 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 open this part, and you pull the switch. And the switch is like it only activates for so long, and then you rewind back, and then you just run and apparently the shadow still gets through I don't know how it makes no sense to me but whatever I'll take it I'll take it I guess um okay, and this one this one is fucking weird as hell too because this one is weird as fuck <laughs> I, I figured this out this is really simple actually um, basically you jump towards it, then you rewind, and your, and the shadow will just unlock it automatically. It's a lot easier than I thought, originally. I don't know, some of these I'm just like, oh, this is like, really difficult, and I don't want to spend time thinking about it, but... Sometimes they're just not that bad. And it just takes me a while to figure it out. 
Like that one. It took me a while to figure that out, but... Regardless, it it just <laughs> takes me a while to figure this thing out. But at least I managed to be okay in the end. It worked out in the end. That's what I'm happy about. It just took me a w damn long while. Um... Oh! What? Oh, that makes more sense, that's a plane, okay. It looked like a wine glass to me. I don't know, that's just me, I guess. You know, me and my craziness. It isn't really apparent because... I'm not... I, I, it doesn't seem like I'm very crazy, I just... Yeah... Yeah, I, I don't know. Anyway, I definitely have been enjoying this game immensely. <laughs> I mean, a lot of figuring out screen time... Figuring out this stuff is not on screen, obviously. But that's better because then you guys won't have to like sit through hours, not hours, but a long time of just me figuring stuff out. Sometimes it's quicker, quicker than other times, but sometimes it just gets really long and it's just hell. Okay, so this, it's partially done. And we will be off on our adventure. We will be off on our adventure. So, this one all you have to do is just finding the right place for the ring. And after placing it in multiple places, it's the flower. That flower. The strongest. And now we go to the next level where I will be thinking some more. So, until then, have fun, kitties. Oh yeah, and that top left one's gonna be pain in the ass, that's all I know. So you basically place the ring there, you double jump, you barely time it, so you jump on the Goombas that's going up, and then you jump on the, j jump on the next one that comes over, like... Like, one second. I can, I can show it, if I don't screw this up. Eh. You hit it once, and then you hit it a second time, and you're up there. Congratulations, you just beat everything in existence. You are the most incredible of incredibles. You are the unfathomable of unfathomable. You are the king of the human Goombas that aren't really human or Goombas. They're just crazy in between that also look like a lion. It's pretty crazy. Okay, now we hop and hop and hop and we get here, which is like impossible to do anything because I have no idea. Um, I've Oh god, this level. I, I, I don't like this one. I really don't. Because this is like... I guess I have to do another double thing. You have to basically just get lucky. I'm not even kidding. You have to get lucky and manage to be able to get to... Lion, Goomba, hu lion Human Goomba thingies over there. You just gotta get lucky to get two, and then you just double jump. Like, there's, there's no other way. Like... It's it's all luck, unless if you're that awesome at this game, which I'm not, and I was lucky. Um, <sighs> this shit, man. It's wacky. Whatever, this goes down here. That, that much is obvious. I only need three more pieces. We're, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Um... I got the piece over there, and do I need a key for anything else? I hope I don't. Oh, this one. Oh dear god, these two. Um... This is gonna be fun! I have a th theory. I have a theory. I don't know if this is gonna work. But I have a theory. Okay. Holy shit! That worked? I was not expecting that to work. Well, that makes things easier. <laughs> now here's for this one, which... Hmm... Okay, so you got to re rewind so then you're up here. And you know you're not affected by time. I just gotta make the jumps, the jumps, oh yeah, mission accomplished, yee, I did it, 
I did it. Alright, I got one more piece left. This one. Okay. So, standing on here, if all I had to do, which was kind of, I wasn't thinking, basically you just have to place the ring there, then rewind. Nothing hard. Oh, and I fucked it up already. So now I got to grab both midair. Oh, there we go. Oh man, that was close. Oh, oh man, am I gonna make it? I hope I make it. Oh gosh, 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 okay, good. And I got the last one. Now we have every one. Oh my gosh. I think we're gonna. Although, we did montage all this all. Since we're so close to the end, I think I should go and beat the game. I should beat the game. I really should. So, oops. Ah, no, no. So, I, I, I might as well beat the game. I might as well. Um. Yeah, because I believe this is the last level, yes. One. Okay, let's see. At a cafe on a bright plaza, most customers sit back, feeling the warmth of the sun, enjoying their cold drinks. But not Tim. He barely notices the sun. Doesn't really taste his coffee. For him, this corner offers a good view of the city, and in the teetering of the passerbys, in the arc of a shop girl's hand as she displays tea to an interested gentleman, Tim hopes to see clues. The night at the cinema, fictitious adventures lunge implausibly across the screen. The audience here is mixed. Some are patrons of the cafe, now sitting excitedly in the plush chairs, eager for another new flavor, for distraction from the boredom of their easy lives. Other seats hold fishermen, farm, farm workers, hoping to forget, forget their toils and rest their hands. Tim is here too, but he is scrutinizing the gloss on the lips on the screen. That was a lot of on, and these thus, whatever you want to pronounce it as. Measuring the angle of the plume of a distant helicopter crash, he thinks that he discerns a message when the cinema closes, and most of the audience strolls down the plaza to the south. Tim goes north. He, like Tim, to seem to live oppositely from the other residents of the city, tied and riptide, floating against each other. Tim wants, like nothing else, to find the princess, to know her at last. For Tim, this would be momentous. Sparking an intense light that embraces the world. A light that reveals the secrets long kept from us, that illuminates or materializes a final palace where we can exist in peace. But how would this perceive, be perceived by the other residents of the city? In a world that flows contra, contrary wise? I guess that's how I pronounce it. The light would be intense and warm at the beginning, but then flicker down to nothing, taking the castle with it. It would be like burning down the place we've always called home, where we played so innocently as children, destroying all hope of safety forever. Now, this is weird, we're starting at the very right. And this is World 1, it looks like. What? Everything's moving backwards except for me. Music is going backwards. This is really weird. So I guess I'm going backwards through time. Everything is but going backwards. Yeah, it's it's going from a closed bloom to a full one. This is really weird. Seriously. I guess this one. That makes them go forward in time. This is really strange. I don't know why the right one is not working. That's just weird. Ah! No, 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 no. Ah! Ah, wait. Let's just re go back through this. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh, 
okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. Come, come on. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Uh, you can only go up to three jumps, looks like. jump up there, but I guess I have to wait until this guy starts to go up. There we go. It's gonna be closing. We're almost done with the game. destroyed from earlier. I don't know. Oh, although I know why, because it's like fl flowing forward in time. Ah. Oh. I know what I need to do. Okay. I know what I need to do. Okay. I need to create two of these guys. Otherwise, this is not, this is not gonna work. Whoa, there. Ugh. Oh. Ah, uh, there we go, okay, now we gotta time this right, ah, uh, and we won't time it right, there we go, this is braid, well then, oh look, there's a knight, and she's running away from me, well then, I think we gotta go, Well then. This just got awkward. <laughs> this just got awkward. Although... Wait. This is going... Isn't this going backwards in time? So, wait. That means. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's not running away from the night, is she? Uh oh. Although it looks like it. Port? It looks like... Looks like... Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> but it looks like... I'm... Not... The... She didn't get taken away by a monster. In reality... I'm the monster. Well then. Yeah. Is that not the truth? <laughs> Let's do this this way. Is there nothing I can do? I'm just stuck here? Yep. That's what I figured. So let's watch this now and how it was. I can't make it faster. 
princess is running away from Tim. Oh, yep. Yeah, he can't get back up. She's trying to make sure he doesn't get up there. He is unable to trap her successfully. She tries to climb around. It takes a long time so she can keep going forward. And once again... Nope. She tries to kill him, again. Because he's the monster. That plot twist, yo. Nope. Well. <laughs> this looks so weird because this is my rewind and playthrough. It blocks him off from going up there. She needs help. He's like, come down here, you can do it. And then she gets rescued by the knight. Because Tim's the monster. Absolutely nothing. Contains absolutely nothing. The boy called for the girl to follow him, and he took her hand. He would protect her. They would fight their way through this oppressive castle, fighting off the creatures made of smoke and doubt, escaping to a life of freedom. The boy wanted to protect the girl. He held her hand or put his arm around her shoulders in a walking embrace to help her feel supported and close to him amid the impersonal throngs of Manhattan. They turned and made their way towards Canal Saint Subway Station, and he picked a path through the the jostling crowd. So, I guess there's like extra things you can get, or something to get these to you know open. But whatever, I'm not concerned about that. It's not what I'm here for. Water starved monkey well, monkeys wet. Oh, there we go. He worked his ruler and compass. He in inferred. He deduced. He scrutinized the fall of an apple, the twisting metal orbs hanging from a thread. He was searching for the princess, and he would not stop until he found her, for he was hungry. He cut the rat into pieces to ex examine their brains, and planted tungsten posts into the skulls of water-starved monkeys. Well, then, that's kind of cruel. He scrutinized the fall of an apple, twisted metal, hang metal orbs hanging from a thread. Through these clues, he would find the princess, see her face. After an especially fervent night of tinkering, he kneeled behind a bunker in the desert. He held a piece of welder's glass up to his eyes and waited. On that moment hung eternity. Time stood still. Space contracted to a pinpoint. It was, though, it was as though the earth had opened and the skies split. One felt as though he had been privileged to witness the birth of a world. Someone near him said it worked. Someone else said, now we are all sons of bitches. Isn't that the... I mean, we would find more if I actually got the extra stuff, but... That sounds like the, um... That quote from... That was said about... What was it? Some quote... About a weapon. I forgot what it was. Candy store. Everything you wanted was on the opposite side of the pane of glass. So it was decorated in bright colors, and the scents wafting out drove him crazy. He tried to rush for the door or get closer to the glass, but he couldn't. She held him back with great strength. Why would she hold him back? How might he break free of her grasp? He considered violence. Well then. What did I even do? Absolutely nothing. Oh, at least these are there. Okay. He cannot say he has understood all of this. Possibly he's now he's more confused now than ever. But all these moments he's contemplated. Something has occurred. The moments feel substantial in his mind, like stones kneeling, reaching down towards the closest one, running his hand across it. He finds it smooth and slightly cold. He tests the stone's strength. He finds he can lift it, and the others too. 
he can fit them together to create a foundation, an embankment, a castle. To build a castle over appropriate side, he would need a great many stones, but what he's got now feels like an acceptable start. This is a castle. It's made of all the uh, things we've done, all the, all the icons of the world we've gone through, all the places we've been to. That's kind of cool. Alright. So it looks like we beat the game. Well, that was interesting. It's a very good game. Very fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely enjoyed this. Um, I totally need to get back and finish Monsters and Zombies. That's the other thing I need to do. Um, but you know, things. Um, but yeah, that was this game was a lot of fun. Going from World One all the way to World Six, well World Two to World Six to World One, full circle. And I'll go back to Monsters and Zombies. And also, soon, do a new little project as well, which will be pretty fun. So, yeah. Um, it was fun.